Dad's eye shooting pains. As the battle reaches its climax, the enemy's frame all got into the fray. Perhaps home's home guard, Julian retired. Third, really referred as the Broomstick Army by Dr. Goebbels. Now, for, if Hitler does not, does put his foot on our doorstep, the so called boy Broomstick Army will soon make a clean sweep of him. These men never spare themselves. Day and night, every moment, away from the civilized civilian jobs, taken up, run, fought. In the words of Herbert, Herbert Morrison, go to it. Just asleep is no obstacle to these men. With it being up all night and maneuvers, they go to their offices and factories, with no time for other activities. My darling, see you tonight. Oh, just as I thought. Come in, remember what I told the men about advancing and extended order? Yes. If I fire the gun, it knocks down the first man. In, in the turn, knocks down the rest down. If you meet, meet, if you meet with a shoot machine gun, the whole turn be mowed down. Watch. Well, you get the adrenaline there. Yes. Here are the weekly orders for GHQ, sir. Thank you. I just put it over with my map case. Then you won't be, get me place. Excuse me. Are you right? Perfectly all right. Thank you. What do you think of that? Very good, sir. My wife said, dear. For a quick draw, you see. Very good, isn't it? A little a bit on full stocks. The trouble with you, you don't have a, you have a blimp mentality. Going to be, if we're going to beat the Hun, we've got to be on full stocks. We've got, we can't get into ruts. We've got to be flexible. Where's my coffee? Do you notice you like, I like it at 10, 30? I'll tell her. No, don't bother. I'm going to have to take this thing off. I can't sit down comfortably in all at, at, in it at all. Better keep it handy, though. Don't know when the enemy might be at our throat. Where will be a good turnout for? Will there be a good turnout for practice? Target practice? Hope so. Yes. I was a bit ashamed of our lot shooting last week. Some men didn't even, didn't do too badly. I just failed to understand how they could mistake the tyres of the air command and staff car for the target. All four of them? No, all five. They got spares as well. He parked it too near the target. We asked Miss King to bring my coffee. Miss King, would you bring in Mr. Mannering's coffee? Please, have you read this, Madison? Prime Minister, with respect, close to defence, in ten days' time. The security, st- security time and date not released until the last minute. Since your platoon was the first to be in the fold, area, you have chosen the God of Honour. That means um, that's wonderful news, you see. The end of the leadership will always be recognised, Wilson. It says that we've been chosen because we're the first platoon formed in the area. That will do. Be, uh, that will be all, all Wilson thinking. Right, I pity his no imagination. Surely shouldn't be too harsh in him. Some men are born to be led. Some men are born to be led. I thought it was indeed. I don't go into detail. But uh, what boils down to this. During the Prime Minister's inspection of coastal defences, I act as God of honour. Marvellous. Now what ammunition a little more plentiful. We have a little it's another target practice on Saturday. Major Regan will give us his expert tradition. Blimey, I thought we got a, a rid of the basket. Any young men who can't attend a study, take one pace forward. Why can't you come, Walker? I got my stall in the market on Saturdays. Pike, I'm playing football, sir. Fraser, fishing. You were fishing on Saturday. Didn't they catch anything? Godfrey, I have to go to the clinic, sir. Corporal Jones, my dad's coming to tea. It's the first time you've shown anything about about hundred percent keenness. Is Mr. Re- Major Regan's right worrying you? He only has about best interest at heart. Permission to speak, sir. He have got my best interest at heart. He tried to give me his elbow last week. Quiet, Corporal. I tend to ignore what has happened. I shall respect the full turnout on Saturday. Is that understood? Yes, sir. I knew you wouldn't let me down. Fine body of men, aren't you? Wonderful name. Awfully nice, sir. But to him, just very good. Very smart. When the Prime Minister walks down your ranks, won't you be able to say to myself, I oh, want such stuff as these Britons made. Good afternoon, Captain. Afternoon, sir. It's got a left turn. So sorry. Would you mind putting your rifles down by the side? Order arms, first platoon. E Company, Home Guard, reporting for practice. Totally practice, sir. Thank you, Captain. Stand at ease. Stand at ease. Stand easy. For all men who go to the pits, Look off the, the targets. All right, Captain. Yes, sir. Carry on. Call Jones. Fill out the markers. Right, sir. Fraser, Joe, Pikey. Follow me. Squad, son. For inspection pot. 
All right, sir. Your thumb, your thumb, man. Sorry, where is your thumb? Where is your pull arm suspension? You put your thumb in the beach like that. All right, sir. All right. I'm coming. Lord and Sophie Jones. We're ready to start firing, Jonesy? Yes, sir. But bye bye, Mr. Wilson. Bye bye, Miss Jonesy. We're going to start firing. Peggy, get hold of that flag. Every time you hear a shot, wave it. What does that mean? It means that they missed. You don't look at the target. How do we know they missed? They miss. Rather, rather round traps. I'm going to fire a few rounds so you get the idea. But if it's all somebody shot the top of the, of, somebody shot the flag of a flag. It must be improving. Lots still full drones. You keep showing me misses. I never missed a target in my life. Is that you fine, sir? It is. I'll come down the pit. Hey, yes, sir. He's coming down. That was a major firing. Will I get in trouble? He was say it was Jonesy's fault. Are you going to going to do it? What are we going to do, Jonesy? Don't panic, don't panic. We're not panicking. We've got to blame you. We're going to blame you. We'll get the target down with you. What does it look like to you? Holes, sir. Are you? Definitely holes. The holes, all right. What do you think? I say there were holes, sir. I'm glad you cleared that up with me. No, you not. Just get hold of yourselves, you sloppy. Look at this place. Turn it up, just for a start. Get a grip of yourselves. Come along, men ring. Put the, uh, the double. Yes, sir. It's close to what? Well, that was a close one. How were you, were you to know that Tom Mix would be firing? That major's a crack shot. Is Dr. Wilson? Mr. Wilson? So he shot the Bingsley. Did he kill him? No, he did. Yeah, he did. It had frightened him. Jack Jones, the butcher, I mean. Lawrence Corporal Jones. Are you ready? Yes, sir. Ready, madam. Steady, sir. We're ready to start. We've got to do it properly for this time. Right. Well done, Godfrey. Up you get. Very seasoned man, sir. Oh, well, you, you fired five rounds. Results are pretty sloppy. I'm sure Captain Rain and Sergeant Wilson. We'd like to fire a few shots. No, that's all right, sir. You don't hurry. Right now. Come on now. Don't be modest. Putting in the holster you're wearing. Why do you not wear it so low and down your hip? Helps you get quick on the draw. Been watching too many cowboy films. Where did you, where did you last fire it? I haven't fired it, sir. Not intentionally, that is. Well, there's no time like the present. Wilson, tell him about them. Put the dummy up. Put the dummy up. Right. We'll go. Put the dummy up. Mr. Manning's going to fire. I'll put the dummy up. Wait up, Joe. Wait till we get the dummy up on. Then hold it up. Okay. Up. Ready, Captain. Raise your revolver slowly. Keep your arms straight. Squeeze it. The trigger. I haven't told you to fire yet. Why well, went off? I'm sorry. I didn't run as you set, had such a kick. Of course it has. It's not a damn pistol. Water pistol. What are you smiling at? It's your turn next. Five rounds of rapid fire. Was that a target, sir? You didn't get the, it on the bloody range. You carry on. See what you can do. The Thompson submachine gun will be issued too shortly. You fire them from the shoulder. Or you fire it from the hips. You fire it from the hips. All right, Sergeant. Yes. You grip it like that. There. You grip it there on the wheel, on the wheel to pistol, pistol grip. Tell him to take the dummy down. Take the dummy down. Nice firm grip. Left elbow right into your side. Next thing do, to do is cock it. Take your right hand off the grip and pull back the bolt. Well, well, go on. You think this terribly stiff, isn't it? Now it's ready to fire. It's one other thing. Your guns tend to pull to the right. So, brace yourself against your f- f- keep them firm. There, there, is a, there is another thing. Hot cartridge. Every cartridge spill at every all over the place. So watch out for your faith. Have you got all that? Yes, I have. Stand by, stand by. Fire. All right, Sergeant. It's all over, Sergeant. Exciting, isn't it? Yes, if you like that sort of thing. You don't need to snatch it like that. Very, that's real, very rough. And I'll show you how to fire, really fire it. Turn and put it up the dummy. Right, sir, right. I wish you'd make up your minds. Stick it up, but stick it down. Fraser, Joe, get ready for the dummy. Chuck me in the dummy. Put her up. Yeah. Are oh, you all right, mate? Blimey. Talk about tear your dot around the dotted line. Hey, Miss Pike. Is it going to turn up for the books? This is what the doctor ordered. Get stuck in. No, where's Manry? Arthur, Mr. Manry. Yeah, coming now. Don't 
stop till we get there. What's the matter? You worn out. I got well. I'll propose as we had a rather shocking experience. What really unnerved me most was the imitation of Billy the Kid. Never mind, Arthur. Have one of my rock cakes. Don't worry if a man can't shoot right. They can't. They can't fix bayonets and charge. What's that's what matters. So your hand doesn't like it up, him, sir. As soon as they get the cold steel, says Corporal. I'm sure your fighting spirit is as humble as all. I wouldn't know about myself. This afternoon you little chuckle ball. I think the man's morale. It's all shut, sir. And me, if firm as Mr. Pike's rock cakes, we're all right. But sorry, madam. Come and drink in your tea, but pay attention. I think it's fair to say I was scooting today with a good many answers. On the other hand, it would probably make Jody or keep their heads down. I only need a little more practice and hit the guns on the way door. If I as much, uh, if I as much at home. See who that is, Kilbo Manring. I want to talk to you over here. At a double. Don't you salute the superior officer at the home guard? Yes, sir. You forgot about being the Prime Minister's guard of honour? Yours the sloppy lot. The East Gate platoon will do a better job. I really must protest, sir. There's no need. Are they being given a second chance? To I be shooting contest between you and East Gate platoon? Have you, have you three best shots range of 1,300 hours? A question? Just one, sir. 1,300 hours? One o'clock. No questions, sir. Right, carry on. Go and be never be ready. There, yeah, well, only one, only one. So only uh, what? The only against three best shots. Pikes, all we got. Fraser says you just about hit his, the target. He's not. We got not seen him shoot. Bit grim, grim, hopeless. Isn't even any tea left. Shall I make them some fresh? Don't bother, thank you. But you, you two look as though you've been stuck against a wall to shoot. If your platoon was doing the shooting, there'd be nothing to worry about. I don't think that it would be a very amusing walker. Listen, I've got an idea. I'm going to go to Hippodrome for your night and Saturday night. But well, we don't mean to make it part of a party. We have a nervous laugh. I can not I can do my business at the interval. It's good, a lovely idea. Charlie Cheeseman, the Charlie Cheerful Chimp, to the bill. Makes me laugh. Don't make me laugh. Like doesn't he make you laugh, Arthur? He makes you laugh. And you, Mr. Manry, I make you both laugh your heads off. A big woman, my wife, she raised a nineteen stone, and my her eyebrow plucked, her ears pierced. My fat the wife is so fat I have to put her a bookmark in uh, to remember where her mouth is. They're sitting here having our supper, nice bit of cod chips, bread and marge, put a tea, all of a sudden all Hawkins comes on one us. He says, It's German's calling. Everyone in England is you're still starving. We were starving. I looked over the wife and said, Blimey, somebody telling a lie. Now a little number to educate all the fire watches are titled, I can't get over a girl like you, like, over a girl like you. So turn out the lights yourself. Are you need a scream, Arthur? Yes. Do you think he's a scream? Yes. Perfect scream. I love the smell of a good cigar, Joe. Don't think that was a good idea. No, I don't think it was. I now direct from South America. Quack shot of Earl Palmas. Miss Longmate is Palaz. And leave me out for a minute. I'll see you off the interval. Don't go away, darling. What is all this about, oh, Wilson? Walker's strong idea for helping us this afternoon. If he's going to bribe a maid right here, about shooting this afternoon, I haven't had a chance to tell you about May. I introduce him Laura, Laura de Pez. Good morning, gentlemen. When do I start? Have you gone mad? No, she's a, no, no, she's a ballistics expert. Then, well, I can believe it. You don't understand. She knows all about it. She's going to have a go. A rest of the range. That's enough. Don't mean to cover yourself up and go home. What are you saying, Fraser? Sorry, sir. Something seems to have driven, have driven it, have, to have driven it right out of my head. Are you not, I'm not going home. What about my stockings? All right, darling. Don't break it in the trot. It's turning we saw last night. One is crack shot. She's going to shoot up for us this afternoon. We'll never get away with this. Of course not. The whole thing's a disaster. So you have to be, have a looking like a soldier. or will never get away with it. Somebody you found out will be up for court martial. Never have you liked that very much. Don't keep staring at the girl. Excuse me, gentlemen. There we are. Trying the boots. You're not, have you got anything smaller? That's all we got. What's the matter? What, what about a barnet? We've got it all right up, tucked up here, it up, right up there. There you are, underneath, right up. Tuck it up or up. What about, sir, uh, oh, where is Dickless? She looks like a big girl to me, sir. Would you, how would you remember? Anyway, we're not finished yet. Come here, grab that bit of that 
Hold that, darling. Go to the bins. Hold them up. Where do you get the turkey from? You want to do anything, don't you? How's that? Transformation squad. Son, stick your chest out. Don't think it's going to work, sir. Don't get decided too much soon. Right turn, by the right, left, quick march, left, right, left, right, left, left, left. You won't do far. Take those ridiculous clothes off. Good morning, Captain. All ready for this afternoon. Shoot, my God, what's that? A new coat. Going to shoot for us this morning. Afternoon, he's a bit puny. Why, he's wearing purple glasses. How are you going to shoot with those on? He's long-sighted. You take them off to shoot. What's his name? His name is Police Care. Can he speak for himself? No, sir, he's Polish. He's a Polish cavalry. And that's why he's so short. He used to be a jockey. Glad to have us with us. Glad to have you with us. Manny, did you see the diamond ring? I don't know. Bit of pansy, isn't it? Well, I don't know him. Don't know him very long, sir. I see. Watch him. I see you this afternoon. I see that. See you be there. I couldn't be there to see you that everything was my board. Right, come on. We should be a very interesting afternoon. Well, well done. Well done, Pike. One more to go. Keep it steady, son. How did you do, how did you do that? What did you do, what did you do that for? Don't know, sir. I saw Gary Cooper do it in a film once. I saw that film. It never, it worked awfully well for Gary Cooper. Has it worked awfully well for Pike, has it? Let me see what your number two can do. Right? Pavel Szymowski? I thought you was named Pileski. Yes, Pileski and Tulewski. Poles have very long names, don't know them. Right, carry on. Bo, well done. What are you doing? No, that way. Can I, can I, Miro? Of course not. Get down. Hurry up, Manry. All elders. Don't go not so good. I put you four pounds down. Fraser, I, sir. Come here. What's the matter with you? Perhaps you should need some clay pipes for targets. You got the first one on the ball. Well, because it was normal. What do you mean? My routine. Only one normal. One upside down. One between the legs and one with the mirror. You can't do any lying down. Because I don't get, get near enough of the ground, can I? The running was phaser. Just got two balls. What? what? Well done. Still I Steady. Really? Steady, Fraser. It's all right, sir. It was a mine sweeper. I was a mine sweeper during the war. I used to pick off the mines. Bullseye, that is. What are you waving at it like that for? It's the only way to sh- I can shoot, sir. There's a, there, this is the motion of the sea. Do it the way you like, you remember? I only need one more ball to win. Ball? You never said there was a crack shot, man. You never asked me. You mean to say you stood there while we tried to make you look a, to make the stupid tail look like a man and never said anything? Where did you speak? When the lassie began to take off the clothes, where stuck in my throat, throat for doom, B Company, Wellington, phones got a present, and arms.